So how do we handle an upset customer? Ooh, this is quite the subject. I know this is something that can give us all anxiety. I know it gives our team anxiety. I started getting really good at this when I was working at Starbucks for a while. Then I started bartending, a lot of pissed off people bartending, especially when they drink. And then when I took over an insurance agency, that agency didn't have anyone really manning the ship for a while so that there was a lot of upset clients. So I got really good at this. And here are a couple tips that will help you knock it out of the park, whether it's an upset client or maybe even an upset team member. So one of the things that you have to do is realize that this person's upset, they have a problem. It doesn't matter like what the details of the situation are in the sense where no matter what, they're upset and they feel betrayed somehow. They feel like they weren't treated right. So the first thing to do is align with them, validate their feelings. That sucks, man. I can't believe you're going through this. If you're in an office setting, this is a great way to do it is just really just hear them out, have them talk about it, ask questions, really that happened what happened with that and get curious and let them know that you're aligning with them that you don't think that this is right because no matter what in our business we want people to have good experiences we want our team members to have good experiences so no matter what something went wrong and since you're the owner guess whose problem it is it's your problem so really align with them talk about that problem figure it out and really just get their take on it let them know that you will handle this that you will take take care of whatever the situation is. What if you can't? What if I can't take care of this? Well, why assume that you can't? Just assume that you can. It's just like in sales, right? You don't go into a sale and assume that you're not gonna sell it. You gotta assume the sale. Same thing here. So we're gonna assume that we can handle the problems. Let them know, dude, this is not right. I totally understand how you feel. You know what, I'm gonna take care of this for you. No matter what, you are gonna take care of it. And maybe not in the way they want, or you know, maybe you can't, but maybe you can. So, and then there might be another solution to the problem that you have no idea about and that once you try to handle it, that will come to light. So let them know that you'll take care of this and always assume that you can. And then number four is schedule a follow-up. So if they're in person, they are gonna feel really upset. Like if they came to you about a problem, they've been thinking about it for a long time. They've been stewing on it. They're very upset. I would always say, schedule a follow-up. Let me handle this so that you can get a clear head, they can get a clear head and let them know, don't worry, I'm gonna take care of this. Schedule a follow-up. It's got to be a specific date and time shows that you actually do care and then follow up with them. Because here's the deal. Perception is everything. You might know right then you can't handle that problem. Like there's nothing you can do. Well, maybe something will come to you in a few minutes or maybe, I don't know, you can ask somebody else. Regardless, don't just shut them down and say, there's nothing I can do about it because that's not somebody who cares, right? So if you own a business, this part of your client experience is everything. You want better retention. You want them to maybe refer somebody, like give them the best experience every time they come in with you. And when they have a problem is the best time to talk to them. Why? I mean, all we're doing is solving problems in business, right? So they have a problem, help solve it for them. Because I guarantee you this, if you do solve that problem, they're indebted to you. It's the law of reciprocity. So perception is everything. So many times we don't explain, we don't verbalize to the person what we're doing to help them. We don't even do a follow-up. Maybe they shot you an email or something like that. And like, you don't shoot them an email right back. I mean, this is basic stuff, but like, I know this, this stuff doesn't happen in business. Like you have to inspect what you expect. This doesn't always happen. So perception is everything. Let them know, let them know what's going on over communicate that shows that you care i guarantee you this is that your team members if you're doing this with them are going to stay with you longer your clients are going to stay with you longer better retention and then also you probably be able to sell them more because they're going to want to deal with you they're not going to want to deal with other people that don't do these things so if you just follow this i guarantee you you're going to build a rock solid unbreakable business